Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. We're in the beautiful town of Terstenich on the southern end of the Payasats Peninsula. You can't actually see it, but the road goes down to Terstenich. There's only about 80 people living there. This beautiful bay, crystal clear water is awesome. Uh, after every time I wake up and I look out the window, I have to pinch myself. But we're here to talk about the wines, actually. Uh, I have with me the Gurgich Plavitz Mali from 2009. Now, I don't want to talk about this wine in particular. I want to talk about the winery and the man behind it because actually behind us is Gurgich Winery. Uh, a beautiful winery here in Terstenek. If you see some of these charred trees, there was a fire here last year. Actually destroyed some of their cellar, which is unfortunate, and some of their archive wines. Uh, but they're recovered. Everything's okay. Nobody was hurt. Gurgich is actually the famous winemaker of Mike Gurgich. Uh, he's, he has his own winery in Napa Valley called Gurgich Hills, and he's most famous because he made the 1973 Chateau Montalena Chardonnay that won the 1976 Judgment of Paris and really put America and New World Wine on the wine map. He's native to Croatia, so he came back here. He bought a piece of property to start another winery here in Croatia, even though he's a little bit older now. He was also instrumental in bringing researchers back to native, his native land of Croatia to show and prove that actually Zinfandel is native to Croatia. Uh, it's called Karljanak here in Croatia, Primitivo in, uh, in southern Italy, Kratosia in Montenegro, but it's native here to Croatia as far as we know. We stopped in the winery. Uh, they make this beautiful Plavitz Mali, the local variety here. They also make a, a white wine out of Poship. Really interesting wines. But I just want to give an ode to uh, Mr. Mike Gergitz because he's one of the most important figures uh, in the modern wine industry. I know he's a little bit older. I think he's 93. So thanks for everything you did. <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel, and I will see you at the next episode.